Let's see. So, uh, let's see. If we get a needle, and you'll have a whole bunch inside, all you're going to be doing is tying a square knot. So take your needle. You're going to take a length of floss. I usually like to wet down the end a little bit so it's easy to get through the edge of the needle. Sometimes it can be a little bit frayed and that makes it difficult. And what you're going to do is get it through the eye of the needle, like so, and you're going to tie a square knot. To tie a square knot, what I like to do is go behind and around first and do a slip knot like so, and then pull it tight. And because I went behind the first time, I'm going to go in front the second time and around. So I'm going in around like so. I'm going to pull it off. And you just want to check to make sure you got it right. If it's a square knot, when I pull, it shouldn't shift at all. And you can see that's the case here. So it's not shifting. If I did a granny knot, when I pull on this, it should pull the other end through, which it's not, so I have it right. As long as it doesn't come untied, that's the key. I'm going to snip off my tail so it's relatively short. I don't want it all the way down to the knot because then it might pull out, but I do want it to have about a half an inch for a tail. I'm going to take my needle holder and I'm going to grasp it about a half to two-thirds of the way like so. So if you can see that, yours should look like this before you get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up my skin with my forceps. You can do it one of two ways. You can either pry it up this way or lift it up this way. Either's fine, just make sure you do it gently. One nice thing about the bananas in this case is that it'll turn black if you are doing it wrong. So in other words, the more you do it wrong, the more black the banana is going to be. You're going to have some oxidation. I mean, the banana is exposed to the air. It's going to happen a little bit. But the more you have to redo it a couple times, the more black the banana is going to be. What I'm going to do is go in about half an inch from the edge. I'm going to go straight in. So notice here how I'm straight up and down at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to go all the way under the skin and come up through the wound. Everybody see that okay? I'm going to pull this all the way through and leave a, just a couple inches and then I'm going to reattach my needle holder to my needle go back into the wound and come out on the opposite side same distance away pull it all the way through as I'm doing this to tie the knot I'm going to go over the twice over the needle holder twice I'm going to grab the tail and I'm going to pull with the wound and now to do square knot, I went over the first time, so I'm going to go under the second time. Wrap a couple times. Grab my tail and pull it through. I'm going to trim my tails so I have just a couple of millimeters sticking off. And that's what it should look like when it's done. We'll do one more to show you what it looks like. Basically, you're just going to keep doing this all the way to the edge of the wound. So again, you're going to go in. Everybody see okay? You're going to go in. You're going to come up through the center. Pull all the way through. You're going to go in a second time through the wound. Come out on the other side. You're going to wrap twice around and pull the tail through. I went over the first time, so I'm going to go under the second time. Grab my tail, pull it again, make sure it's snug. Don't, too, don't pull too tight because you'll pull through the skin of the banana, but just so that that knot is snug. And there we go. When it's all said and done, it should look like that. So you should have about 5 to 10 millimeters from the edge of the wound to where you go in with the needle, and about 5 to 10 millimeters from entry point to entry point. And just keep going all the way along the edge of the wound until you basically run out of wound. And that is an interrupted suture.